All right, guys, we just set up a little bit of an easy visual demonstration for you guys so that you can see just how much salt is actually in de-icing fluids like brine. This container right here, this is how much salt is going to mix with one gallon of water to make brine. This amount of salt is how much is in one gallon of seawater. So we're going to take our ingredients, we're going to mix them together, and then we're going to show you exactly what percentage of salt it is. All right, so funny enough, everybody says, oh my gosh, salt dissolves in water. Well, anyways, without adding heat to it, without stirring it under a big mixer for a half hour or anything like that, we actually didn't even dissolve all of our salt to make our brine here. But just so that you can get a little bit of a visual demonstration, you know, that that much salt does in fact make a percentage of brine. So that number, if that were normal brine on a road, is going to be at least 23%. 23.3% is the technical spec that they call out for in the States. And then of course you can see on your road salt, or excuse me, your sea salt side, that mixture is gonna give us right about 4%. Most oceans are gonna be anywhere between three and 5%. Now, what do I do about it? The salt scum product is super simple to use whether you own a commercial trucking fleet or you're an individual that just wants to keep their car for 10 years. Either way, it's not a problem. The product is just gonna mix with water. You're gonna spray it on on a regular basis. And its only purpose is to chelate salts and prevent corrosion.